All right, greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Welcome to part three of the siblings. In this video here, we are going to use steel wool and wipe off all of the extra clear coat that I put on here. Then we're going to install the tuners, uh, install the, the pickups, put them in the box, string them up, and then throw a little jam. So I like to wear a glove when I'm using steel wool. And the reason being is because I don't like to get splinters, especially metal splinters. So since I sprayed all these guys after I have the frets on, um, I just hit the, the frets with the steel wool and I can see that finish, that varnish coming right off. And I can see in the light, the reflection of the light, I can tell when when I've got that varnish off the fret. If you don't take the varnish off the fret and you play, the, the varnish catches on the string and it just makes it feel rough. And then I hit the back. And you can just really tell the difference here. It's like gets like almost like a glossy burnished look. And of course, give it the old feel here. Oh yeah, man. Sheesh. That is smooth, smooth, smooth. One of the problems I have as a builder is I'm constantly running out of parts. So, went online to my buddies at cbgiddy.com and ordered me some tuners. All right, so it looks like a lot, but dude, I'm gonna burn through these like nobody's business. So check out the little free gift, box bomb. But check out the tone of this thing, my gosh. Isn't that amazing? Next, we're gonna drill the headstocks for the tuners. So all I do is I just get the, the drill bit that matches that shaft exactly. Next, I get a scrap piece of board that is the same thickness as the heel, and I put it underneath here so that, number one, it's level and sturdy. It's not like, and then it also it gives me something to for the drill to go through into to preserve the back side of the wood here. The next thing I determine, is it going to be one right and two lefts or two rights and one left? And then just go to town. Now I'm just going to drill these from memory. Okay, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball it because I know exactly where they're supposed to be. Now you're asking, what's the measurements on that? I want to get it right. So I'm going to tell you exactly. Okay, so the the top right one is down about um, three eighths of an inch to the center of the hole, and the same thing from the so the two. Um, the high string and the low string are both three eighths of an inch away from the edge. And then the middle string is exactly half an inch from the edge. All right, so these open gear tuners come with these little bushing 
grommet things. And so what I've done is I've got a little 5 16 little spade bit here, and you can see that little black line I put on there. So when this thing spins on the drill, I can see where that line is. And all I do is I just drill down to that level of that line is exactly the top level of the uh, the top line up here. And that thing fits in there perfectly, just like that. All right, so this is important here. Notice how this little gear here is on the downside towards your hands over here. And then the threaded portion here is away toward the top. That's true for both the, the right hand and the left hand. And that's the difference between these. And the reason being is because the string tension here is pulling this way, right, on this little lever, which is pu pushing the back part. It's pushing these gear and the threads together. It's like physics or whatever. So that's kind of an important thing to note here. After the tuners, now we're going to install the piezos. The first one to cross the finish line is the ukulele. So I have the piezo wired to the potentiometer and the output of the potentiometer through the shielded cable the input jack and I did ground the chassis of the potentiometer. Next is the Partagus. So the Partagus has got two pickups and it's got a switch that goes between the piezo and the magnetic pickup. Of course the volume control. So the magnetic pickup goes to the switch and of course the piezo goes to the switch. The output of the switch to the potentiometer, everything's grounded. The output of the potentiometer to the jack with an extra ground for the hinge for the strings and there's a nice little flag there that you can see through the grommet next is the brick house and the brick house has a single coil that's hooked up to both a volume and a tone control and the output goes to the jack and there is an extra ground wire First up, this ukulele, and this has got the skinny strings, the nylon strings from a regular acoustic classical guitar package, and I am tuned G, D, G. sounds are being generated by the Roland microcube and those are the settings. Next up is the Partagus and the Partagus has a piezo, a mag, and I like the middle.
know that 26, the 17, and the 13, and I am tuned E, B, E. Last but not least, the brick house. And these are the strings for the brick house. And I'm tuned E. guitars can sound like any of the other ones if you put the skinny strings on here then this one's gonna sound like the other one if you put the big old fat strings on the other one then the other one's gonna sound like this one so if you like cigar box guitar videos be sure to subscribe be sure to leave a comment and remember six strings or three strings too many <laughs>